What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels? Or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. <laughs> Hello, Junk Shack. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. All right, let's check out. We got a message from Mikey. Ack, I heard you just got suspended. Sorry. Oh, rolled one against Wells. Okay, I get it. Get it? <laughs> Stuff says you're a nerd. Ooh, not bad. Majestic, even. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. <laughs> All right, into the bag we go. What did you get us, Rachel? A bag full of clothes. Mm hmm. Yes, I need those. Yeah, but what kind of clothes, Chloe? Come on, let's see what it is. Oh, let's prop this up. Try on, yes. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. A skull, tarot card, bonus outfits. Oh, so we're switching our outfit now, huh? Illuminati Deluxe, Punk Dough. Uh, I want to be able to switch between them, so let's try the Punk Dough and see if it'll let us switch. Reminds me of you, Max. It really does. Don't know if it really fits Chloe, but then again, what does or doesn't fit, who am I to decide? Oh, I didn't notice you were wearing a necklace before. I like that, actually. <laughs> Look at her. Shake your groove thing. All right. Uh, exit. That should do. I'm at the junkyard now. Let's turn on some music then, I guess. If we're gonna die, we might as well die in style, eh? And we have to have a fully functioning dartboard if we're going to die, I'm sorry. But that just cannot go unnoticed. <laughs> I have a feeling the money we stole from that one guy is coming back to haunt us, because they're probably blaming Frank for it. That's my guess. Uh, that's mouse button to leave. All right, Frank, what'd we do this time? Is that the message we wrote on there earlier? Wait, who are you? That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. What? That's a smiling lady, isn't Weird. it? Yo, Frank, it's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Ah! 
Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? A betting slip. $1,200? Way out of my league. Oh, shit. Uh, Oregon search and seizure law, your guide to understanding search warrants and how to protect your assets. <sighs> Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Hello, you're definitely not a meth lab, and I'm definitely not interested. 555386. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it, Chloe. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pay with his drive through order. <laughs> All right. Graf Wait, we're not going to graffiti his stuff. Uh, look, W. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? I can't read that, but I wouldn't write that on there. That'd be rude, man. Don't do that. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. No, apparently Frank doesn't have a whole lot of money. The man seems like he's on hard times. Uh, let's see. Probably sells drugs just to survive. Part of a balanced breakfast. What's this? Uh, look. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? I think I have to get this notebook, right? That could be kind of cool to have a house on wheels, though. Oh. Oh, it's just a pillow. Okay, I thought that was a lot worse than it looked like. Oh, what the fuck? Doggy hey push there. Mark? Uh, it's okay, little guy. Oh, it's a dog when he was oh, little. Shit. Pompadou, get up here. <laughs> Pompadou. You little killer. <laughs> See? My, my normal philosophy is, is animals normally don't like bad people. Now, I could be off, but I've noticed a lot of animals in the right hands. I think, Frank, you do bad things. What are you doing? Like a... Get my notebook. And here I am trying to say you're a good person. Man, fuck you too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's go and see where his notebook is. Ah! A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Ah, uh, well, Frank's knife. Yeah, no. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. What did you hide in the pillow is my question. <laughs> Bong in the corner. Uh, what's this? Frank and his BFF. That's... Uh -oh. Adorable. That's the guy that Chloe took money from. Yeah, I know exactly how bad this is a gonna end. A throne fit for Frank. Someone's a messy eater. Uh, okay, grab. Notebook. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Twenty ten, huh? Take. Is this what I think it is? Glad I paid that off. Yeah, 175 is how much we owed, but. Ugh. Armand, Hannah, Stella, Drew Jackson. Interesting. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. That might be important later, that list of names, so I'm going to try to remember that, but if not, well, maybe somebody can help remind me. <laughs> Alright, I got your notebook, man. Where are we heading? Pretty view. I like your RV. Might be a little old, but it's got class. Uh, notebook. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one... Badass name for a dog. It's French. Uh, French for what? I'd actually like to know. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? 
Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. You know, I think that looked like the smiling lady. Um, now I'm starting to think that the lady that was smiling in the park, I believe it was the, the lady that was with uh, Rachel's father, and then we later saw her smiling in the park, like, as it was burning to the ground. Okay. Fine. Guess Rachel's dad isn't bad girls. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No, but I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like, but I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? He was the asshole that was, like, picking on Nathan, if I recall. Um, I genuinely think that he's gonna turn out to be not, like, a bad guy. I think he's just going through some tough times. His dad lost his job because of, uh, Nathan's dad, and he's probably using, uh, well, I think he said, uh, like, Oxycontin or something for pain for doing football. And I have a feeling this is gonna turn out bad. Okay, let's see. No, we never talk. Uh, yeah, let's try that. No. I never talk to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? I do agree with Frank, though. He's like, it's not a type. Man, you can't just classify people like that. Uh, that doesn't feel right. What's in it for me? Um... I, I don't know. It it doesn't feel right to go through his room. Does it feel right that he stole a grand from me? From you or from Damon? Same difference. Well, it's not my problem. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. I hope you know what you're doing, Chloe. Because this doesn't sound like a good idea. Man, we're going to get caught in his room, or they're going to know we left his room, or they're going to know we snuck in the black when we weren't supposed to be there, and we're going to be in more trouble. Like, Chloe, you need to lay low right now. That's, that's, that's what you need to do. I don't think she knows lay low though. And God, look at those trees. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. I can't believe you agreed to work for Frank. I don't think this is a good idea. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, there's that one girl. What is her name? Better hurry up and get into the dorms. I, mean, I actually want to check. Okay, back at school yet again. 
They've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? So I guess she's allowed to be back in the show again. Um, I'm here too, actually, running an errand for my dealer. Oh, really? So bad. <laughs> Come see me when you're done. Help me cope with the shittiness of seeing Victoria Chase in my costume. Oh, so she's just watching. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's fucking lame, man. Uh, dude, I heard the bad news. Suspensions suck. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. My mom's making me go to her book group. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. If you want someone to talk to, let me know, or want to confess your darkest secrets. I'm really okay with it, man. Haha. <laughs> Seriously, I'm here for you. Cool, thanks. See, if I recall, I thought Elliot turned out to be like an ass, kind of an asshole in the uh, second game, but here he seems like a really nice dude, so maybe we'll get some insight into what happened with him, maybe. Maybe I'll be wrong, though. Who knows? What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. Uh, Blackwell students. I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. Blackwell students, don't miss out on the most important meal of the day. Treat your body right through the stress of finals week. Yeah. Oh, wet cement. Can we step in it, I wonder? Step, step, step. Oh, it actually did it! Oh my gosh, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't think that would work that way. This is bad, but we must make history! Abandon all hope. Tempest tossed. Abandon all hope. Welcome to hell. All he who enter here. And we have the footprints going through it. That's funny. I like that. Just. Ugh. Uh, open to anyone and everyone. Uh, we are Blackwell's greatest resource. Let's celebrate and learn from each other. What's that saying? Blue writing down there? Looks like someone got rejected from Vortex Club. Oh, that's not right. Don't be hating. Let's see. Whether you're into their uh, religious doof or not, even if that's true, don't be a dick. All right, let's see. What do you have to say? Now that I'm gone, Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. Oh, yeah, that's right. Your name's Steph. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How's my future looking? Bright and sunny. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. <laughs> well, thanks all the same. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, just running an errand. Uh, seeing the Tempest. I think that's probably best. Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. 
Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. The Tempest, tonight. Buy tickets. Rachel would have brought the house down. How can Wells be such an idiot? Uh, I completely agree. Go to the dorms. Yes, to the dorms we shall go. Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Oh god, look at that. Welcome sluts. Poo? What the hell? What's my right that with, I wonder? And it, I, I really didn't expect when I ran through this wet uh, cement over, I really didn't expect for it to actually make footprints. <laughs> it's kind of cool though. I'm assuming it'll be there later. Ooh. Max would have jumped on that photographer position. Ah, uh, look at. There's Evan, putting his pretentious art above his sanity, uh. as usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. Oh yeah, I remember Evan. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. I just didn't recognize him. Uh, speak. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh? I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. That's pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but did you really expect people to care? People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? I completely agree, though. Um, I guess you were right. You need social skills. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you were right. Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Oh, he actually kind of, like respects you that's actually pretty cool well thank you evan i, I appreciate your outlook <laughs> blackwell <sighs> academy conserving water since never <laughs> um hmm. i've been in here before hey my man i think it is you hey bud i don't remember your name but samuel Samuel. Blackwell's a yeah. resident creepy groundskeeper. Eh, dude's not creepy, he's just a little eccentric, and you know what, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being eccentric, it just makes things a little more interesting. I want to know his outlook, he always has kind of a 
poetic, whimsical way of uh, telling things. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? Uh, Drew, Elliot, I've got to go. I'll be honest with him, he always seems to be a whimsical dude. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels? Or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? <laughs> yeah, see? Everybody's like, oh, he's a creepy guy. Man, but he's rolling down some facts. Smart dude. All right, let's see. Drew, Elliot, I've got to go. Oh, I guess we can talk about all of them. All right, uh, Drew. I'm, uh... <laughs> Uh, looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. I could not agree more. This man is spitting truth, and he is on a roll, telling the facts like they are. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay? Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. But Elliot seems to be rather good at hiding both, so it seems like on the outside Elliot's trying to seem like a nice caring dude, but from what I know about the future of that, he's not that nice and does some stupid things. Not to say that he's a bad guy, but hmm, what do I want to keep hidden? What do I want people to see? Yeah, I kind of want to see that. What do I want people to see? Someone strong and fierce who does what she wants and doesn't care what others think. I don't care what others think. Of course you do. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. Wise man. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Bingo. Oh, I don't want to steal if his If only keys. those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Um, what are you suggesting? We mess up the sprinkler system? Man, I don't want to get him sprayed. Can we, like, warn him or something, maybe? Bird, the sprinkler. I don't want to scare the bird away. Um, hey, Evan, uh, speak. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Man, I'm not about to get him sprayed in the face, man. I don't want to scare the birdie away, but... Um... Squirrel statue? Nice work, Samuel. Ooh. That's pretty artsy, actually. Good work. It looks like he's still in progress, though. Uh, door? Such a nice white door. <laughs> though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. I'm not gonna tag it because this is Samuel's space, if I recall. Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Chaos theory, Ignis. Or Vuske, something like that. 
The Far Sally. Uh, I don't know if that's like philosophy books or not. I'm not familiar. We need him to come out here, and I'm assuming we have to mess with something out here to get this to work. Which I'm not feeling so hot about. I don't want to turn the sprinklers on him. Can I scare the birdie maybe over there? Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. Come on. Go to one of the other piles, maybe. I don't know. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But oh. Evan is right there. Dude, I'm not gonna do that while Evan's still in. Can I tell him to move at least? You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Come on, Come on I don't want to do that to him, man. He respects us. That's not cool. Um, Blackwell totem posters. There's got to be another way to get his attention without being an asshole about it. There's the flyers. Can we use a stick? Can't use a stick. So majestic. Why, yes, Chloe, of course you may look through that. <laughs> well, oops. Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. I can see why Mikey prefers them to his reality. Gotta say, she is one artsy girl. That's really cool. Miranda, Caliban. Oh, they're like outfits for the show. Ariel, Prospero. That's the one Rachel's supposed to be. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. To make this work without... Oh, I can scare him away from it. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's scare him away from it. Hey! I'm sorry. It's better Shit. than getting you sprayed, though. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Here we go. Maybe this will do it. Gotcha. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Oh, perfect. You're welcome, bud. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, that actually worked out too perfect. I knew we could save him the uh, pain of ruining his camera. Evan should be far enough away now. Good. You saw nothing. <laughs> Didn't do it. Didn't do it. Awesome. Nope. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the. <laughs> that works. Sorry, Samuel. Man, I hope he doesn't get sprayed. Sorry, my dude. All right, let's head in and get our dirty work done. Take the keys. Sorry, Samuel. I'm not tagging right. that, but... Time to find Drew's room. Sprinkler box? Look. Who would have thought sprinklers would be the key to getting inside the dorms? True. Cool little statue. We could tag it, but I'm not going to. Books, yeah. Okay, let's be on our way. Dormitory entrance. Sure. No time like the present. <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? I'm visiting a friend. Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... 
I, I really can't just let you go in. Uh, Samuel said it was okay. Can't do that. Cause that'll get him in trouble. For old times' sake, let's not yell at him. Cause he's a he's a nice dude. Let's try this. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old times' sake. <laughs> I want to, Chloe, but I really can't. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. Uh, to succeed in back talk, listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. I don't like this, but I guess we'll have to. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. That's not right though, man. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. That's not cool, Skip. You realize that, right? <sighs> Chloe, I just have this feeling like you're up to... Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place. What? No, I... I uh, <laughs> uh, fuck it. I totally did that. Wells <laughs> raked me over the coals for that. Ugh, time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Because unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe, enough. This is my job. Just go. I agree with the poor dude. Damn, we shouldn't even be here to begin with. You shouldn't be here for the damn dirty money you either. You have never respected me. You and all your smug little classmates. I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this stupid rent-a-cop job. <laughs> just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe. Oh, Skip. Matthew. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh, 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 oh that, that's funny. Because I've got, I've got reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. What, what did you just say? Damn. Matthews. Skip Matthews. really lost it there. Uh. All right. Time to find Drew's room. I feel like there was no good answer there, because if we had blamed it on, uh, what's his name, um... God, I'm bad with names. The guy over there in the janitor area. Basically, Time blamed it on him. Room. We were basically probably going to get him in trouble, and if we fight with Skip, then Skip doesn't feel good. Man, damn game making me make choices. All right, in we go, I guess. Probably going to get caught, and... Have our legs chopped off, but you know. From the secret shadows of dawn, there's a darkness to the sky. The simple thought I recognize. 